Okay, smiles. Smile. Click. Okay, thank you. There you go. This is America. You're welcome. Look at the camera, guys. Can't see your brother. Let Nude's face show. All right, look this way. Nude. Woo! There you go. Thank you. 
We store 10,000 gallons of water in the water tanks at the top of the hill. When we release the water, gravity pulls it rushing down the hill and it swings down the hill under the bridge and then it's pumped back up to the top for use again. That way we don't waste any water on the effect. And as you can see, thanks to the sprinkler system mounted on the roofs of the buildings and in the trees, that's how we get the park in short and Chevy Chase. Now we're getting ready to cross another territorial border, this time from old Mexico into the old west. And if you take a look on my side, you can see there's a working livery stable out here in the old west. And we have all of the horses used on the lot in that livery stable. It was also used as part of a movie set for a very classic western film that was made in this area. The movie was called My Little Chickadee and this area is called Six Points, Texas. And there's a very good reason that it's called Six Points, Texas. Special effects that we create for film and how they're done. On the driver's side is an underwater filming tank, a round structure there. The equipment against the windows that are cut by the sides of the tank. And as you can see from all of the props on one side, whether it's a television show that we're filming or a movie that we're making, we don't throw anything away. We think it's much better to have something and not need it than to need something and not have it. Which is why we still have some of the military equipment out here for the movie MacArthur. And there's another neat trick out here. It's off to my side. Believe it or not, this small body of water served as the entire Pacific Ocean for McHale's Navy. Now, rumor has it that the crew from McHale's Navy was a little careless, and they left behind some underwater monitor. Like that. Yeah, like, like that one. Uh, things like that can pop up anywhere, especially where there's water on a back lot. There could be more water around the corner, and we wouldn't even know it. Oh, but not this corner. Uh, hmm. There was supposed to be another bridge here. Group effort, I'm afraid, so we're going to need everybody's help, including the cool people. On the count of three, if you could all say, part the waters, please, with me. We'll see what happens. You ready? One, two, three. Part the water, please. Very good. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Okay, it looks like it's going to be okay to go through. This is the parting of the Red Sea, and it's an effect inspired by the effect used in the movie, The Ten Commandments, starring Charlton Heston. And we are going to go through this Red Sea. And I know it's much easier to see it while the trams stop if you, if you stand, which is fine. Once we start moving, though, you need to remember to take your seats because you're going to have to pick up your feet. And any person on the wall of the should right now on the floor of the tram. So we're going to go through, so everybody take your seats. And here we go. Now I don't know about these waters. So keep an eye on them. You never know what could be floating around in here. Thank you. 
you like scary movies, you'll like this part of that rock off a lot. On my side is the Court of Miracles, and this dates back to the 1919 film The Miracle Man, which it was named after, and then starred Ron Chaney, who was known as the Man of a Thousand Faces. And it was here that just about any universal horror creature you can think of made his movie debut. This is where Dracula first stalked his victims. Dracula was played originally by a man named Bela Lugosi in this movie. This is also where Frankenstein and a few other classic horror feature film characters who made their debuts here. The Invisible Man, which was played by Claude Rains, and the Wolfman, played by Lon Chaney Jr. As we come out of the Court of Miracles, you'll see a few props scattered on both sides of the tram. You see on the driver's side, we have Paul Bunyan and his Blue Ox Babe from The Great Outdoors, a movie starring John Candy and Dan Aykroyd. Now, we are about to do something that we didn't think we would do. I got that one. <laughs> Number 103, 
is where Doris Day lived with James Garner in a movie called The Thrill of It All. Now, we call this neighborhood Any Town USA because so many stories come from an average hometown setting and we can build them all up here. For example, on the driver's side is our colonial mansion, which was built originally for Uncle Tom's cabin. But we also used it as Chumley's Asylum for the movie Harvey. And if you take a look off to the driver's side across the way, is where Beaver Cleaver went to school in that brick building, which is now City Hall. If you take a look up there at the up on the hill, that is the most famous set still standing in Hollywood from the classic horror film of the 1960s called Psycho. That is the Psycho House in the Bates Motel. We're going to take you in for a closer look at it. It's built on a 7 8 scale because when Phil off at the flip of a switch and this is our wilderness area that you're passing through there are all kinds of live animals roaming the hills on the driver's oh, side and we even brought a live animal up here and made an entire movie about him his name was Beethoven and he was a big fan
Let's get there, Doug. He's about 10 feet off the floor, but through the eye of the camera up on the screen, looks like he's way up in the air above Courthouse Square. Doc, you just got to get the plug in one hand into the socket, the other hand in time to save party. Action! It's a storm scene, I forgot to tell you that. All right, he's trying, he's struggling, he's going for it. Well, he is moving like Madonna. Strike a pose. Hope you like rain. Where there's rain, lightning can't be too far behind. Don't worry about it, it's just water and electricity. Go, Doc, plug up, get you. We're counting on you, Marty needs you. Go, get that plug in. Did you get it, Doc? Go. Doc? Uh-oh. Doc? We lose more volunteers that way. Oh, wow, well, no smoking. How about a big hand for what's left of Doc? Well done. Doctors, well done. <laughs> so, on the next set, we're going to take you into the magic of Alfred Hitchcock. And replace it with any background you choose. Chris is going to demonstrate that. Chris, yeah, look over the camera. That's the different backgrounds. Look dizzy. Ooh, the Grateful Dead Pads 1972. Did I have fun? Look scared. <laughs> I like Superman. Oh, yeah. Good job. Okay, Hitchcock combined this process with an ingenious trick. He built a traveling camera that moved that camera away from the actor, making the actor appear as though he were falling. We've got our own traveling camera today. We're going to show you how the whole thing was done now by combining live action on stage along with actual film footage. So Chris, when I said action, look up the camera and remember you're looking at the man who's trying to save your life, but you're literally just hanging on by a thread so you can look really scared down there. Uh, Francisco, when you get your cue, just lean way back in the chair, flap your arms like crazy, kick your legs, spin around, scream, and die. Go to be remember you're 300 feet above New York Harbor without a prayer, without a hope, without a bungee cord. And you're plummeting to your death. So have fun with it. And action! Look at your sleep. Okay. 
Steve. Let's see what you can do. One, two, three. This is a silent movie.
could imagine just disappeared. There was a time when I could really fly. Fly at all. Come along, this way. Bye.
you surprise me, barbarian. But what will you do now?
get him, Nip. Go get him. Kodak? Kodak? Yes!
seaman about a horse. Hey, well, I'm not much of a dance. Oh, you're going to learn. Hey, hey. That's your spirit, huh? Yes. <laughs> Woo! Hey, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is. I'm going to cut you up. Oh, come on, swivel head. Yeah.
crazy lady? Shut up, talk in it, Lance! Whoa! Oh. 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 well. I heard on that one.
Crichton University Western Skunk Team.